This is literally what happens every time I put the camera down to start recording. Somebody wants to take over. We've got to tell them what our monthly favourites are. Are you going to tell them yours? Brady Bones? Tennis balls? <laughs> what's up guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video today i'm going to be doing a monthly favorites video so i did this for the first time last month and i'm doing it again this month because you guys seem to like it and to be honest with you i really like just sitting down and chatting about some of the things that i'd found over the last month or so what i'd been loving what i'd been using it was just fun so it's happening again i'm going to be straight honest with you guys there is a lot of black in this video there's not a lot of color going on so i'm sorry about that i didn't actually realize that until i sat everything down together to start filming but there is a lot of black going on i also thought it would maybe be cool if you had to think about something that was your monthly favorite like what was something that you were loving this month let me know below comment it below and then there will be a thread of comments for everybody else to enjoy of also watching my monthly favorites but checking out your monthly favorites as well so let's get cracking let's get on with the first item on the list okay so first up i don't know where to start with this i am the biggest fan of the mac cosmetics christmas range every single year i have to get something i always go in there with the intention of buying a gift for somebody else and what comes home a gift for me too that happened this year. I just love their Christmas stuff. They have so many nice sparkly things, so many nice little mini kits of things. Definitely check it out if you haven't because there are some great things in there. So one of the things which made it into this monthly favorites video is this eyeshadow. It is called the Spellbinder eyeshadow and it comes in I think four shades. This one is called Stars Align. I am going to be honest with you, I will try and link everything as always down below. These run out super super fast so if you can't find it on the link below definitely check out wherever you normally go for like your cosmetics and stuff because they go fast. It is literally the most gorgeous silvery gunmetal gray kind of color and it's got so much lovely glitter in it i'm not that great with eyeshadows i think i've said this in other videos i am not that skilled when it comes to makeup so i just like things which are really simple and which i can use in different ways i guess and what i love about this is that you can wear it like i am now just with like a nice cozy hoodie and kind of look like festive and nice but it's not like over the top or if you're doing like your full face of makeup and you're heading out for the evening, <laughs> you are ready to rock with this on. Honestly, cannot fault the MAC Cosmetics Christmas range at all. I love it. I buy from it every single year. I've already been loving wearing this and I am definitely going to keep wearing it for the rest of December because I'm just all about that glitter at this time of year and this delivers that 110%. Okay, next up we have probably one of the snuggliest, coziest jumpers I think I've ever owned in my entire life. Now, finding the perfect Sherpa style hoodie or jumper is not an easy challenge. I know that it can be difficult. You want it to look cute. You want it to be cozy, but they're not that easy to find. Abercrombie seriously delivered this year with this guy. I know it looks like a blanket. It kind of is a blanket, but it is a very stylish, cute looking blanket, which literally, I've worn this so much. I also have it in cream because if you like it, why not get it in more than one color? But this like check color is so nice and festive. I did end up getting a medium just because I wanted it like a tiny bit bigger. And to be honest with you, it's not huge on me. So if they are low in stock in sizes, don't be shy to get a bigger size, I would say, because I feel like this style just you can wear it any size it is snuggly on the inside and the outside i don't know if you've tried any other sherpa jumpers or hoodies but sometimes they totally mug you off they are so soft on the outside and then you put your hand in the inside and it's not soft it is not sherpa all the way through 
I'm not about that. I need it Sherpa on the inside, Sherpa on the outside, Sherpa on every single side. And that's what this is. I have totally worn it as like cozy and comfy in the house. I'm not ashamed to say I have also rocked it with jeans and boots and worn it out several times, more than once that has happened. Because I just feel like you can like dress it up or dress it down. It's just perfect. I've got so much love for it, too much love. I know in the last video I had a pair of boots and I'm sorry that there is now going to be another pair of boots but actually I'm not sorry because when you see them you won't be mad. Let's just start this by saying I am not a heels gal. Give me a pair of trainers, I'll be there. Heels, I can't do. I can't really walk in them, I'm not that great in them and to be honest I just I tend to avoid them because they're never comfy. I don't know whether it's because I am tall. I'm like five foot seven. So I feel like when I then put heels on, we're very wobbly. There's a lot of like leg on then high heels and just I don't really know what's going on. So to find the right pair of heeled like day but could also be evening boots because I don't want to be buying two pairs. I didn't think they would come. I didn't think I could find them. I didn't think they existed, but they did. These beauties changed the game for me. They are from Zara. They are literally incredible. I don't even know where to start with them. They're comfy. I can walk in them. And they are so cute. Look at that chunkiness. Look at it. It is so chunky. I love chunky shoes. I know that I showed you the Doc Martin Jaden boots, which are super chunky in my last video. So you definitely know that I'm about that chunk life. These... Hello. One of the things that I also love about them is that they are slightly shiny, so they just can be worn like daytime with jeans and jumper, or they are also totally passable as evening boots. They're just so, so comfy and really stylish, really simple. I am obsessed with these. Like literally, that's not an exaggeration. We're obsessed. Okay, I could not do a monthly favorites, I don't think, without mentioning some kind of gym outfit because I literally wear them pretty much every single day so I'm bound to have a favorite that I've been loving recently and if you didn't know Gymshark camo is probably one of my favorite sets of all time ever they released about a year ago and I have worn them like continuously continuously I have worn them and then a few weeks ago my prayers were answered and they brought out some new colors you are not ready for these colors they brought out this really nice berry color but they also brought out this gray which is very kind of like gray but like a really pale frosty lilac -y color can you see these seriously i was lucky enough to be gifted the leggings but then i did purchase the bra to go with it because I love a matching set and also the fit of the sports bras in the camera collection. It does things to you. It seriously has superpowers. The entire collection, the way it shapes you, the way it gives you shape and things in places you didn't know you had them. Seriously, the best ever. Whilst we are on the topic of like gym leggings, I always get asked, what do I wear underneath them? What is like my favorite seamless underwear? Because I'm definitely not about that no underwear life under your gym leggings. No judgment if that is you. I just, I just can't do it. I have to wear underwear. So for ages, I wore the Victoria's Secrets seamless thongs. Literally for years, that is what I would wear under my gym leggings. <sighs> and then something came along and topped it. And I didn't think it could happen. But somebody said to me, have you tried the H&M seamless underwear? And I was like, no. In fact, I don't think I've ever tried a H&M underwear, full stop. They were like, you need to try them because they're gonna change the game. And they have changed the game. They do them in like a white, a black, and a nudie color. They come in like these packs of two and they're 9.99 for two and they've been really well wearing and they just are completely seamless they're a really nice fabric they're super thin but they're not that horrible kind of fabric that makes you like hot and like static and sweat they are really nice totally recommend these if you do want some under gym wear underwear then totally give these a go. They have definitely been my favorite over the last month or so. I only tried them a couple of weeks ago. So next up, look at this guy. 
Hello. Okay, I am really, really picky about what bottle I take to the gym. I don't want it too big. I don't want it too small. I want it to keep things cold. I want it to look cute. And then this guy came along and just totally, totally met it. I really like the Chili's bottles. I've had a few of them now. And I didn't realize that they did the slightly bigger size. I think it is 750 milliliters, which is perfect because I found the smaller one, the 500 mil was just a tiny bit too small. Um, so if you were making something like a squash or something like that for the gym, it would annoy me that then I would have to refill it up at the gym and it would be like half squash, half water, like nobody wants that. This is perfect. It keeps it super cold. It's this lovely like matte black colour, so I feel like a ninja when I'm going to the gym with this. It's got a screw cap so it doesn't leak in my gym bag. It's just fab, literally cannot get enough of it. Okay, next we have the perfect pair of faux leather leggings I've ever had the privilege of putting on. These are something else. I picked these up in Topshop a couple of weeks ago. I've worn them so many times and every time I wear them, people have given me compliments about where are they from, blah, blah, blah. And they are just really, really nice. They have been sold out online for a while now. So I will link them, but just check and see if they come back in stock because they definitely will, I'm sure. But they are so, so, so soft and comfy. They are kind of fleeced inside a little bit. So they're like really nice and like chic looking on the outside, but then they're snuggly on the inside. Who doesn't want that in their life? They fit really, really nicely. They had plenty of stretch for me on my calves and my thighs, which I definitely struggle with when it comes to trousers or jeans or leggings or just anything to be honest with you and I did go for a size 10 which is probably my normal size and they fit perfectly I love the zips on the front and on the sides I just love them they are just something else I've worn them out in the evening with like a smarter top and my heeled boots and I've also worn them with like a big oversized jumper and trainers on the weekends I'm obsessed I feel like I've potentially left one of the best to last because this coat has literally come into my life at a point when I needed it most I have been looking for this kind of biker style jacket for so long and to find the perfect one which looks cute it fits nicely i can fit jumpers underneath it i can wear just a t-shirt underneath it do you like the coat you've got your own coat <laughs> There are so many things that I love about this coat. I love the detail that it has. I love the zips. I love the style. I love the belt. I literally love all of it. I think it's one of those perfect coats that you can keep for a long time. It is timeless. It is classic. You can wear it in the daytime. You can wear it in the evening. You can just wear it pretty much all the time. And I'm not mad about that. Right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed seeing some of the things that I have been loving this month. Tobes has come to also just make sure that you guys enjoyed the video please do hit like and subscribe if you did enjoy it and make sure that you come and check me out on instagram because Tobes and i share stuff there every single day and i've set myself this challenge of trying to upload every wednesday and sunday so two uploads a week for you guys it's ambitious but i'm so up for it so let me know below what you want to see in the next video maybe Tobes will do his own video because he keeps gay crashing every single video. What's up? The camera's that way. Right guys, I will see you in the next one.